Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of the oatmeal. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the awesome script exercise that you guys did. I've got two to show you, so let's go ahead and jump into those. So first up we have Jerry. Let's go ahead and play through hers. All right, so Jerry's got some really smooth movement to begin with and some awesome color overlaps, kind of like what Noel shows in the lesson and then finishes this off with some really nice little fireworks. So to start, I love the colors and speed this comes in at. It's really strong. Love the little whip for the A. However, as it goes throughout, it kind of gets a little fast and jarring and hard to keep up with. So you could slow it down a little bit throughout the rest of the piece. I like that it comes in so strong. But then taper it off as it goes throughout. It kind of slows down around the S there, which is great. So and then it speeds up again, which gets a little bit hard to keep up with. I love these dots though, right here. These dots that come off is awesome. It's kind of like a hidden little secret eye trace that happens, so it looks like it's gonna be awesome, and then these drops come off and turn into this liquid exclamation point. That's really great. And then these fireworks at the end are a really nice touch too. However, it'd be cool if you had them staggered and maybe scaled a little bit. So the first one starting with the exclamation point and then maybe a little bit larger over here by the A and then down here a little bit larger, smaller, maybe adding a couple more. So there's like five or seven in total really kind of fill out the frame a bit. But overall, just a really smooth start. I don't see any real jarring issues with the animation throughout. It looks like you've really taken the time to work on your easing and lining up the, the movements, um, especially around the S as it slows down. You can see that you took some time to really finesse your keyframes. Um, just after this initial whip, it gets a little bit fast and then it slows down to about appropriate speed and then gets fast again. But then right in here, this is awesome. That's a good speed. It's got a nice little whip arc to it for the way the dots go. And then right there with the final uh, firework explosion. And that's a nice touch too. just offset them a little bit to give it some dynamic range of one here, pause, one starting here, a little bit of pause here and there. Um, but Jerry, great work, strong start, way to knock it out so quickly too. So with all that said, let's watch it one more time and then we'll jump into the next student and yeah, just great colors in there and then the explosion. All right, let's jump into the next student. So next up we have Brian again. Congrats, Brian, twice in one week. Let's go ahead and watch this. It's really elegant writing on. And then all the way throughout, just some nice background movement. All right, so let's go ahead and dissect Brian's. I like how elegant it feels throughout. It's very soft and just has this elegant feels like it's deliberately being written by somebody, especially right here at the M. And I'll talk about that in a second. So the start, I don't really even notice this to beginning. It gets a little bit hard to read. And the A is already formed on for the most part before it really has that contrast to give the visibility it needs. So that might be something to work on in the beginning there. But throughout, especially right here at the M, it feels like somebody is actually writing this. And the way the strokes come down right here, the arches of the M, like I can imagine that's how someone's pulling the fountain pen down. So, and then just these downward strokes. And again, with the exclamation point, I love how subtle the background's moving around. It's not distracting away. It's actually affecting how the text looks, especially right here, this big circle at the end. I love that, that it changes the hue throughout or I guess kind of the saturation because the hue is pretty much staying the same and just reveals even more. So if there's a way that in the beginning here, you can give it some more contrast, that'd be fantastic. I think overall it feels very deliberate and like a handwritten note and you can't get much smoother than that. And this is one of those exercises that as a motion designer comes up again and again. I get asked for it all the time. Hey, can we have a cool script handwriting reveal on screen? We want it to look elegant. We want it to look like graffiti. We want it to look like this and that. So if you can master doing this, you can master probably about like 10%, 20% of what clients are gonna ask you to do. So great job, Brian. 
I want to play through it one more time before we get out of here. So yeah, just really elegant, smooth work here, Brian. Nice job. So if anyone's struggling with this exercise, go ahead and take a look at what Noel does. Try and time things out. Think about how things are moving around the scene, how you would be writing something, and really give it some flavor, but also um, focus on the details of how handwriting actually works. So with Jerry's in the very beginning, the A really whips on, and that's great because when somebody first starts writing, especially like a cursive A, it's going to be kind of this whip movement, and then smooth it out throughout. This starts off very elegant. It seems very deliberate, like somebody is writing like an awesome love letter, so nice and smooth throughout. Just make sure, like I said with Brian's, your colors are lining up, your design's lining up, and it's not distracting or it's not becoming hard to read and things like that. So if you have any questions, hit that little button on the support panel or tag me in a Facebook post. And also liam at schoolofmotion.com will send me an email directly. All right, guys, have a great week. And I can't wait to see what you guys are doing towards the end of next week as we go into the final projects. Great job, everyone. Thanks.